we're talking about smallmouth fishing, Echo Lake, Newark watersheds. Don't rule them out. Close to New York City, only about an hour and a half away. Smallmouth, baby. And what did he bite on? The hula stick from Z-Man. Awesome little bait, four, four inch. Check it out. You're watching The Real Deal Fishing Show. Yeah. I'm fishing a hula stick. The hula stick's made by Z-Man. It's made out of Elazitec. This plastic is so buoyant, it just floats up. It's rigged on a 1 8 ounce jig head. And I'm just throwing it up and slowly just jigging, letting it fall. You'll feel con contact with the bottom. Um, it's eight pound test fluorocarbon that I have it rigged up with. Really sensitive, the line sinks real fast. Really good for that finesse presentation. It's a large one. Yeah, baby. Finally got the skunk off. Come here, baby. <laughs> there we go. Not big, but it's a fish. Just throwing the swim bait on the shoreline and fat little sucker. I'll take him. I'll catch these all day. <laughs> well, as we work the shoreline here, I'm throwing my little swim bait into the uh, trees. Yeah. Uh, it's working the shoreline here. We're throwing down trees on the shoreline, bushes that are sticking in. Uh, we caught a couple off the shoreline. But you got a small mouth, a large mouth. Decent size. But I'm just throwing the swim bait out and it sink a little and then reeling it back in. I was throwing a couple other things, jerk bait, and I was throwing chatter bait and some weeds down on the other side. But we're in 13, 14 foot of water and I'm just throwing it out up on, near the shoreline and then working it back down off that first drop off right there. The water is 67, so it should be in. And uh, let's see what happens. We got another tree in the water over here. I'm gonna throw to that. Hopefully not a snag. You'd think there'd be a fish in there. Really tight to shoreline. I was just saying, I want a small one. Good size small mouth. So get him in here. And he goes. Hey, I'll get him. Felt like a bigger one. He's fighting hard. This water's got, water temperature has them energized and they're ready to go. Not that big, but I'll take them. Another small one. I thought it was staying at the bottom. Looks like some crayfish. It's a decent one. And they're not shattering the scales or anything like that. And you're finding they're pretty tight to the shoreline, right? Yeah. On this windswept, the wind is blowing the whole length of the lake to this shoreline here, and that's where I got them. And he's spitting out something. It's not bad. I'll take them. The Newark Pequannock Watershed is a 35,000 acre natural resource owned by the City of Newark. These majestic bodies of water are located in and around West Milford, New Jersey, and they provide water to the City of Newark and its surrounding suburbs. The watershed is managed by the Newark Watershed Conservation Development Corporation, NWCDC. The watershed has four bodies of water that are open to the public with permit use. You will find that the four bodies of water, Echo Lake, Clinton, Canisteer, and Oak Ridge, offer some fantastic angling opportunities to boaters and shoreline anglers. The average size 
of a reservoir is about 388 acres and the average depth is 42 feet. Having a yearly permit to fish the watershed you'll be able to fish sections of the Pequannock River that flows through the properties as well. The fishing opportunities are endless and these reservoirs over the years have developed a strong following of anglers that keep coming back. When in the NWCDC office you will notice an entire wall decorated with anglers that have fished the watershed. You will see pictures of anglers from the past to present with a wide variety of fish in their hands. Trophy muskie, pike, walleye, pickerel, largemouth and smallmouth bass can be seen in these photos. The photos alone will make you want to fish these waters. That was a fun trip fishing the Newark watershed. It's located right up there in northern New Jersey and it has some of the best fishing. Besides getting a New Jersey fishing license, I would recommend that you go to the Newark watershed and also get a license there. You're able to fish four lakes and part of the Pequannock River, which is really awesome for trout. So you should check it out. Go to Echo Lake Road, that's where the office is, and I believe the uh, licenses become available in April, and throughout the year you can pick them up. So check out the Newark Watershed. Echo Lake, Oak Ridge, Clinton, and Canisteer are phenomenal. Um, some are better for largemouth, some have musky, smallmouth bass, so check them out. Newark Watersheds, you'll thank me for it. You can fish from the shoreline, you can fish from a boat, great opportunities, so check out the Newark Watershed.